Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. For today guys, I'll be showing you how to update the Waze app. So guys, the first thing that you actually need to do is go to the App Store and download the Waze application. Uh, don't worry guys, this app is supported both by Apple and Android, so you don't have to worry about that. Then you just need to go and log into your profile. If guys, you do not have one, you can always go and register to Waze. But guys, if you do not know how to do this, you can always go to our YouTube channel where you have plenty of how to Waze videos where you can see how you can do this. Now, guys, we got that out of the way. Let's see what we actually have in front of us here. So here we have, as I said, the base application where we have a lot of different options. So first of all, we can go and see that we have some common addresses that we can set here as of our home or our workplace. We have your, you can drive to friends or family. You can search for contacts there. You can connect to a calendar. You can get to events on time. Also, we have the search bar where you can type by yourself the address that you want, or you can go and click on this microphone here where you can say uh, what you want and the application will type it by yourself. Also, in the top left corner, we have these three lines where we can go and plan a drive. We can go to inbox where we can go and message other people, friends, family, whoever you want. We have the settings option where you can go and see a lot of different settings for your profile. We have help and feedback where you can go and uh, see uh, uh, ask the we support anything that you want so that basically supports center and we have the sleep mode option when we click for your profile we can see we have a lot of different things about our profile here so we can go invisible achievements account and login home and work mood settings etc etc now guys let's see how you can actually update the base application so you just need to follow these few steps that i'll be telling you and you'll do it in no time so first of all you need to go back to the app store type again the name of the application and if there's an update you'll have it uh, on the same button where you had a download button so guys, that is everything for this video. I hope that you found it informative. If you did, don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, put the notifications on. And guys, as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye, guys.